All right, and here is the second half of the cleanup. So what I'm basically going to do, just like I was mentioning in the last video, is I'm just going to go down the hierarchy of the hips. Um, again, the hips are the most pivotal part for movement. This is where the core of all of our movement comes from. So if the hips are working, then it's easier to move down the line. I would never start with the furthest ligaments from the hip because more often than not, you're going to have to change those at a later time after you've changed the hip. So the first thing you wanna do is clean up the hip. Now that I have my hip controller clean, I'm gonna go down the line, make sure these are all good. Uh, these are looking good. So now I'm gonna go up the spine. So I'm going to go onto the rotate. Uh, let's just see what happens. Uh, this is an interesting heel. Let's see what happens if I were to delete this. Not a huge difference. But it does feel a little too samey on the timing. So let's see what happens if I were to keep that. The timing does feel better, but I think by cleaning up some other ones, we'll see what, what real effect that it has. So um, if I do have this timing here, let's just see what happens if I were to delete this one. Not a huge difference. If anything, I actually like it a little bit more. So now that I have that, uh, okay, here's something that I definitely want to avoid wherever possible. Um, I have kind of a plateau right here. Generally speaking, I like to avoid having a plateau. So let's just see what happens if I were to keyframe this and maybe have a little bit more of a, a curve. So if I were to make a curve, And then let's see what happens if I were to delete that. So it's not a huge difference, but because I don't like having um, plateaus, I'm actually going to keep this. Perfect. Okay, so now that I have that, and honestly, the rest of these curves are actually looking pretty good. Uh, let's go over here to this one. Let's see what happens if I were to delete this curve. Nothing, almost nothing. So there, that's exactly what I'm talking about in regards to cleanup. I didn't need that frame there, so I'm going to delete it. So now I'm going to go up the spine, go over here. Here's a prime example of like all of these keys that I don't need. So let's ha see what happens if I delete this one. Not a huge difference. So if I delete that, uh, I could probably delete all these as well. And look, not a huge difference in my animation. So let's just see what happens if I were to delete it again. Not a huge difference. It actually comes down even more, which is something that I kind of like. Uh, okay, so let's see these frames right here. Uh, I don't think I need this frame. Let's see what happens if I delete it. Nope, nothing happens. That's gone. Uh, now, this is a prime example of one I don't need. Because look, uh, it's pretty much going down the slope. So if I delete it, not a huge difference. So now that I have that clean, that's looking good. Uh, I'm going to go down to the rotate Y. There's nothing there. Rotate Z, nothing there. Perfect. So I'm just going to go up the spine. And it looks like just my rotate X is what's manipulated. So I don't have to look at this rotate Y and Z. I'm just going to look at rotate X. Now, here's an interesting one. Uh, let's see what happens if I were to delete this one. Nothing happens. So I'm going to delete that. Uh, how about these two? I'm going to go down the middle. Let's see what happens if I delete them both. Not a huge difference. So yeah, not a huge difference. I'm gonna have them deleted. Uh, this is an interesting one. Let's see what this does. Okay, see how much more stiff that feels though? So I'm gonna keep that one there. And this is me playing around with my um, with my tangents. So uh, let's see, do I need this? This feels robotic, so I'm gonna keep that there. Uh, honestly, overall, this does feel robotic, but again, for the sake of this demonstration, this is how I would approach cleanup. Um, now, this is a very sharp slope right here. 
Um, let me see what happens if I were to ease the slope in a different direction. So that actually feels better. And the reason it feels better is because if I get rid of it, I have a really sharp pinch right here. And even looking at my controller, you can see that my spine is, is working at a much different rate right here. So it's crunching. I don't like that crunching feel. So if I kind of ease it a little bit, then I'm making less of a crunch and I'm smoothing out that arc so it doesn't feel like such a pinch. And as you can see, it doesn't feel so pinched when I uh, play it forward. So I'm going to smooth out this curve a little bit to kind of help myself out. So the arcs feel smoother. And already that's feeling much, much better. So now I'm going to go down to the neck. Uh, this neck should be interesting because I tweaked it quite a bit. Uh, let's see. So uh, another example of frames that I probably don't need. Uh, let's see if what happens if I delete this. Nothing. What happens if I delete this one? Nothing. It's good. So let's go down here. Okay, so perfect example of another flat tangent here. So if I go here. Uh, as you can see, nothing's happening, so it's going to feel even more pinched. Let's see what happens if I add a keyframe there. And if I were to maybe make a little curve this way. So I'm adding a little bit of movement in those frames so it's not so flat. Because again, you, you want to avoid having flat tangents wherever possible. This is an exception right here because I'm moving ever so slightly. So keep that in mind. If you are gonna have a flat tangent, try to make sure that they're at least moving a little bit or with some purpose. So now that I'm looking here, let's see what happens if I were to delete this frame. It actually feels a little bit smoother. Let's see that again. Yeah, let's see if I delete that. Okay, that's good. Let's see what happens if I delete this one. Not much happens. Uh, how about this one? No, I actually want that frame there because I want that stretch pose. Perfect. All right. So as you can see, now that I'm going in and I'm cleaning up, um, and I'll actually play this side by side um, with a play blast later uh, on Sync Sketch so that you'll be able to to really see the differences between the two. Because um, it may seem incredibly subtle, but as you continue to, to iron these out, it starts to make a huge difference. So uh, another example of a flat tangent. Uh, I don't want this to be so flat, so let's see what happens if I were to delete this. So it's kind of moving at the same rate. I don't like that, actually. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm on this keyframe, I want the head... Again, overlapping action, something to keep in mind. I don't like that this is rotating at the same rate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this head back a little bit. And I'm going to push that further by having... this rotate. And so now when I come down here, because they're coming up, I want this head to follow. So I'm going to, I'm sorry, oh, I want it to overlap a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this spine curl over a little bit more. So now I'm finessing my animation. I want it to feel right. So to do that, I'm going to use the principles that I learned from the pendulum swing. And now it feels like a more satisfying lift up. 
Do you see the difference? So um, now that that feels better, again, I'm going to go into my, um, my tangents here. And again, we have another flat tangent. So what happens if I delete this? Nothing, nothing happens. Uh, but I still have this flat tangent. So um, what I want is for this to be slightly different so it's not so stiff. And this actually feels pretty good because I'm dipping my head a little bit and it's dragging up because force is working against it. So um, now that that feels better, do I need this tangent? Let's find out. So it doesn't make a huge difference, but I'm gonna delete that. Perfect. So now that that feels cleaner, I feel like I'm satisfied with this one. And now I have cleaned up the hierarchy of the hip up to the head. Last thing I'm gonna do is, is the feet. Now, uh, because my feet are planted most of the time, something that I will say is, uh, more often than not, I will actually have my feet in a linear tangent. Um, the reason being is because you don't want ease in when you're putting your foot down. If anything, your foot should be accelerating when it hits the ground, just like the bouncing ball exercise. When it's coming down, force is working against it, so you're picking up speed. It should not ease in. So um, if I look at my feet, look, I'm, I'm easing in. I don't want that. What an ease in is, again, for everyone who is unfamiliar, it's when your curve slowly becomes a flat line. The longer the line, the more it will ease in. So, uh, and you don't want that with feet. Um, usually when you're moving your feet, you don't uh, ease, uh, ease into your, your, uh, your plant. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is, uh, I'm actually going to manipulate this tension a little bit. Uh, I'm going to break um, the tension here by going here to break tangent. And now I can manipulate these separately without having to worry about um, it changing the other one. So look, this is one of the few times where I'm going to want a pinch right here. because you can see it's easing in and then immediately stops. Uh, and you know what, maybe I do want a little bit of an ease in, so I'm just gonna move it up a little bit. And uh, something uh, that's bugging me now, but again, <laughs> to give you all the opportunity to, to kind of learn, uh, the, the feet are bugging me. If I have time, and, and I will do this later when I'm when I'm manipulating manipulating this on my own is I'm going to be fixing the feet uh, so that they're not so stiff. One thing that I would do is um, go to this foot controller and I would just kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. So I would add a, a little bit of a, a foot tilt. Another thing before you're using these controllers, I'm gonna use save as, because um, Maya loves to crash when you're manipulating controllers. Um, so I'm gonna save this as a new iteration before I start playing around with it. And again, I, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but if I were to manipulate this, I would add a, so let me find out which one it is. I think it's heel ball. I would add a little bit of a heel ball And same thing, uh, I don't want this to be stiff, so I'm going to make this heel ball here a uh, 0.3. And then right here, I'm going to make this a zero. So it's completely planted. And 
And honestly, that feels incredibly robotic, but I would play with that at a later time. Um, but just so you know how to, to use this channel box, if you so choose, for your, um, for your feet as well. So I'm going to cut that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to re-zero out that frame and re-zero out this one. And back to cleanup. I feel like this is in a good spot. Again, I'm going to turn off my NURBS, turn off my HUD display by clicking Show, scrolling all the way down. Um, and I'm going to click HUD. Take a quick screenshot of that for those in class. So you know what that looks like. OK, perfect. So now I'm going to play this, and let's just see how it feels. All right. So um, I would say that I'm satisfied with this cleanup. I am going to go back, and what I would honestly do is, is fix the timing, the spacing, the flow of movement, the feet, uh, make some more asymmetry. I would tweak the curves, and I would add a little bit more so it doesn't just stop at a, a flat rest. Um, that way it feels like a living, breathing character. But I would consider this to be um, done for the sake of this demo, and that's how you would approach clean up. So that is the end of this video. Hopefully this is helpful. Again, this is what I would not, I would not consider this complete work. I'm going to go back and clean this up, but at least you know how I approach cleanup in the graph editor to make the animation look even smoother without sacrificing uh, some of the keys that we put there to emphasize timing, spacing, and the, the, the principles of animation. So hopefully this helps. And yeah, happy animating.